third quarter, bro. This right here. 15 years old. Look at this jacket, bro. 14 years old. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Still in the bro. Nobody got that. Bro. Only made once. Remember, oh. made hoodies for. Yes, we get the black hoodies. I lost my hoodie. I lost my hoodie. I, I could have cried. Oh, my. thank you, bro. Yeah. And then, and then I got the um. Oh the my goodness! All right, take this one. <laughs> Yo, I want to frame it like you don't understand. I remember Nuclear Cowboys. You bust out with the joint. Yeah. Hey, Michael. Yes. Raise it up. Meet you hey. here. Hey, Michael. Hey, what's up? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Thank yeah. you for making all the time. Hey, no problem. Yeah. No, we're, we're glad to have you guys. Yep. Good. Yeah. Good. I got you a shirt, too. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Yep. I'm excited. That's, that's really sweet. I'm yeah. going to wear it, too. Yeah, he probably will. Yeah. Sure, for a couple of you guys. Yeah, so Crystal's taking care of you guys? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. What uh, what she have you doing? We, got, we start our next tour. Talk to a few riders and then All right. to fall out. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we got some cool setup over here for, okay. for afterwards and some refreshments and all that. But, uh, you know, good, good. walk with these two. They'll take care of you. Yeah. Good, good. Enjoy it, guys. Good, good. It's good meeting you, man. Y'all yep. yep. take care. All right. Oh, sorry, Excuse babe. <laughs> Everybody started wearing distressed yeah. again. This is kind of before his time. Because this fit in right now. I know it fit. Because these are the only raising up shirts. Oh my gracious. Never touch. Mm -hmm. This is a bunch of This is like sun stain from not being moved. Two of these. I'm man, man, red one. man. That's the RMKXYZ. Then you did the baby blue, the purple. Oh yeah, this is legendary. The legend himself. This is O E M. This was KX. This was R M. And then you know, of course, you got to do purple for the Ravens. But Lord, man, this is O E M. Like, like the jacket is like. The, the the older knight giving you the sword. This jacket, like, oh, what's it called? What's the uh? The sword was in the stone, and you had to pull the I sword out the King stone, Arthur. huh? King Arthur, King Arthur. You know what I mean? This the King Arthur. This the King Arthur for man. Appreciate it, boy. Million percent. This is this means. That's for a reason. This means a lot. This jacket been around. Oh, 13, 13, about thirteen years. We've been nuclear cowboys since two thousand and eight. Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. We got this jacket on new. What does this come up in? M I S or D C M? D C M. Go Yeah, no. Yeah, it should be. No, go to. Yep, there you go. The history in the making, man. You don't even understand. You don't understand. I'm telling you, history in the making. Raise it up, man. Raise it up his back, man. 100% raise it up his back. Forever this time. Raise it up forever. Raise the legacy, man. Man, like I said, Buddha hooked up 20 times 10. Yo, this is. Let me go over here, sit in your spot. Let me go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me sit in your spot. <sighs> raise it up. What you? What raise it up mean to you, Seven? Um, when you hear raise it up, what you think about? Third place. Third place, why? And you. Me and Dirk Bucks. Oh, you take this one. You take this one. And you. Me and Dirk Bucks. Yeah, you said you think about Dirk Bucks and me. Yeah. Raise it up. 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 Raise it like a star, a dirt bike star, like Ryan Baltimore. You know how like you got dirt bike stars in Baltimore. You got Grape, you got me, you got Chino, you got Steve, you got Charlie, you got Wayne, you got Pee Wee, um, well, Dev, recipes, Dev. There's so many of us, right? Would you want to become that type of thing? Why not? I prefer like a track. It's more fun on the track. You have more fun on the track, and I, and the thing about that is, right? 
I think you experienced that at a young age, like having a track when you was like, you know, when we was out uh, Pennsylvania, you used to ride on the track out there. I think you experienced that, so it, it opened your mind up. Like with me, all I had was the streets. So I really never experienced the track. It's crazy that you say that though, that you'll rather ride the track. Cause I'd rather you ride the track in the streets. And me, like, honestly, like right now, I feel like bike life, everybody uh, wanna ride the streets, right? That's the trend. But at your age or even younger, I wanted to ride the dirt. But at 13, just imagine you right now, 13, trying to find, trying to get a bike. Say you don't got a bike. Say, say you, all your bikes is on. You gotta get a bike, find a place to keep it, and you gotta get a truck to take it where you gotta go. So you don't even got a license. But now, you, so you know what I'm saying? That's kind of necessarily that what I'm saying is to the nutshell. No ditty is it's only fun when you're young riding on the streets because it's only acceptable when you're young. Once you become older and more mature, it's kind of awkward. Like, like how are you old 50 and you just riding through the park raising hell at 50 years old? Like, don't make sense you know what i mean i feel like a lot of us now is addicted to the lifestyle we just you know ride for the fun of it i guess sometimes but majority of times it's only be fun so i don't know if, if, if you love it just do it everybody want to get paid off of bikes now it's just crazy it's crazy to see it transition to where it is now like i would never thought it would be here I would never thought it would be Will Smith's stunt double on, in, on anything. The that movie just, they just dropped the trailer. I seen it on TikTok. What, Bad Boys 4? Yeah. What did you think about it? You like it? I, I think, think it's going to be good. Yeah, Martin on Funny Boys. I guess. Yeah. Martin got more parts and, and Funny Parts. I think it's going to be good. Like, like, growing up watching Bad Boys, bro, I know you don't know about it, but Bad Boys 1 and 2, I never, I remember being in the club in Atlanta, bro, when we was down here shooting movies. Me and KK was in the club, remember KK? Yeah. Me and KK was in the club, I took him to the club with me with the producers and Will and all them. The movie, Bad Boys 2 was being like displayed in the club, like in the background, mm -hmm. and I'm just literally just sitting, just watching the movie in the club, like, like, I, like so, like, I was just so, I can't even think of the word, but it just, Nostalgic or whatever, it's just nostalgic. nostalgic or whatever. It just felt crazy. It just and I'm like, yo, I'm really ready to be on Bad Boys Three. Just crazy. Like I'm not be on it, but I'm really working on Bad Boys Three and stunt doubling for Will. And it just was insane, bro. It was an insane roller coaster. I will tell you that. But at that moment, I I, I really set in. That's when it set in. When I was in that club and just looking, and I'm like, man. And looking at Will Smith right next to his section, and I'm like, hey, really, Will Smith stunt though? Like, this is crazy. I accomplished this. But back to what I was saying about the uh, state of bike life. I always say bike life is dead because I feel like right now you got people that, and and not no disrespect to them, but you got people that's getting into bike life, just oh, well, getting into riding dirt bikes just to ride the streets, and. That's weird, you know. To me, I was looking in, I see somebody in the middle of Oklahoma riding the streets, or middle of Los Angeles riding the streets, and I'm like, in LA, you can't, you can't drive an hour without going past a dirt bike track. So for you to be, for you to ride the streets, it's like, what is your purpose? Our purpose in Baltimore is because we don't have no dirt bike tracks. He didn't start seeing dirt bike tracks like I just said, Pennsylvania. You know, Western Maryland, but in Baltimore, man, it's no dirt bike tracks out. Like, the nearest one's Bug Creek, and that's three hours away. But I feel like people now, they just do it just to do it. And now it's becoming a worldwide nuisance, like, night, uh, worldwide. Like, this is, bike life is worldwide. And it's becoming a worldwide nuisance where it's cracking down on the ones that have to do it. The ones that have to ride the streets. They're getting cracked down on, bro. The ones that have to ride the streets, they're the ones that don't have a choice but to ride the streets. They getting cracked down on, and now they're put, getting put in a place. The ones that don't have the funds, don't have the money, don't have, you know, the trucks and the parents. They getting cracked down on, and it's not being, it's not being able to be fun for them. So, it, I don't know. Where do you see bike life in the next ten years? I don't really see nothing. To see, this is gonna be boring. Man. You think it's gonna be still people riding dirt bikes in the streets ten years from now? Yes, nigga, they're gonna try 
you think right now you see what's going on you see people getting crashed like you know the police going crazy crashing hey. all right dog come on get it real but you see it's going crazy right now with the police and stuff so you think it's still after all of the, all, 10 more years of the police crashing into each other uh, crashing into us like raiding the houses giving us jail time all of this stuff behind the bikes 10 more years of this you think that the culture can su su sustain it yes but it's gonna be broken apart like, what you mean so really some people want to transfer over to the more tracks and dirt or some just want to try to live the nostalgic feeling that they felt when they were young That's and recreate try to recreate the nostalgic feeling when they felt they was young because like i said it's just wayne yard is not the same will deal is not the same you know what i mean and i'm just talking on my city like it's not the same it's not and plus also the people we got older bro i bet that the, the footage that i'm starting to show you guys from raise up and all that that footage is from 10 years ago the the the, the earliest footage is from 10 years ago the latest is 15 years ago so 10 15 years ago i've been doing this to the level that y'all are you know I me mean? riding every day you know what i mean getting chased every day, all that shit. I've been doing it to the level that y'all doing it now. So think about it. After losing a leg and the, and, and the, the way I lost my leg and all that stuff, why, why would I still ride bikes in the streets? Faithfully. Like every day, perfect attendance, why? I don't even understand for the ones that's out there that's my age doing it now, perfect attendance. If you have a reason why, go ahead. But for the ones that say, or I ride bikes to relieve stress. Cap. That's bad work, man. The dirt bikes, now, me picking up a bike and riding on the streets is creating way more stress. Way more problems. Way more problems. <laughs> way more money gotta be spent. So it's like, man, I feel like bike life, that's why I feel like bike life is dead. My son, who grew up riding bikes his whole life, he can't even remember a time when he didn't have a bike to ride. He always had a bike to ride since he was three years old. And he don't even want to do what I do. And I don't know, is it because of my accident? Is, did I have anything to do with it? No, because that one didn't happen on the street, right? That happened on the set, so he just don't want to. And it's crazy It's crazy that it got this way. I thought, I did think that, like, yo, my son is going to take my step, my foot, you know, my place in this shit. Like, when I stop riding, he going to keep riding. But hmm. The fuck are you talking about? Why would he continue to ride? What was it? Wobbly wobbly nigga. Wobbly dabbly. Niggas out here don't love me, nigga. Exactly. Why would he continue to ride bikes in, 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 in the street illegally? Like, shit burnt, cuz. I just look at it like that. Like, I now I be looking at the YouTube comments and I understand them now. Like, they really be hitting. Like, some of them, some of these niggas, that's like, let me go over a couple of them. I be like, yo, he right though. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna go through some. 410 comments, 221,000 uh, views, and 2,000 likes, 2,100 likes. Shout out to, thank y'all, thank y'all for the support. Shout out to YouTube and the algorithm. I already know y'all behind that shit, man. Sir Vet Mob Squad ENT. My man said, people big mad talking reckless on the internet, but be shook as fuck if they were ever, if they ever was down the hill and they rolled up, it would be quiet time for real. Yeah, but yeah, sir. Sir, you're right. And for in real life, people wouldn't say nearly half the stuff they say. But, you know, I, I look at it like this. I don't ever get offended by comments because the comment section is there for a reason. You know what I mean? If I, I'm putting it up there for the good and the bad, right? So rather somebody comment negative, negatively or positively, at the end of the day, it's a comment. So I'm not going to take objection to it. It says, all right, somebody said, Lord. 4931. Man, the city needs to bring back Raise It Up. I agree to that, brother. I agree to that. Um, let me go to some other ones. We just gonna scroll. We gonna scroll and we just gonna stop. Stop here. All right. Forever Gnarly Gaming said, 3943 said, everyone that's all sensitive about bike noises needs to, let, to live a little. That's true. I agree. But they got electric bikes now. Servons and all that type shit. So, 
you really, you know, they'll complain about that. If it, if it was a pack of, uh, what was it, Starks, the new Starks? If it was a pack of Starks and all the Servants riding, they will complain about that. Silent ride out, and they still will complain. So, I, I mean, they're illegal, so, I mean, I don't even want to say this name because he sounds crazy. His name, his name is Bendover KTP. No Diddy. No Diddy. He said, no helmets, no maintenance. The issues will solve themselves. Buddy, they already attacked you in the comments. They went at him. They went at him in the comments. Um, <laughs> yo, these people are crazy in these comments, bro. At Facts, what's the name? Facts, whatever. He said, how do you have an LV belt? And still rent. Still rent what? What? And yeah, thank you. LV belts are, aren't expensive. I mean, I got one on now. Probably the same one. This is the only ones I wear. The only belt I have, I buy the same belt. They only $500, bro. Is he talking about the U-Haul? He gotta be talking about the U-Haul. Why not rent a U-Haul, motherfucker? Oh, I suppose to bring my 24-foot trailer up the road with two bikes? <laughs> Out of here, bro. What are they there for? They there for the rent, right? Come on, guy. Velcro 717, he said, you guys should be riding those in the dirt or maybe that is above your skill level. Is it above our skill level? Uh, I feel like, you know what I mean? It's the same thing. I feel like riding dirt bikes in the streets and riding dirt bikes in the trails versus, it's like the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like it's the same skill level. I really feel like if I put the same energy into riding dirt bikes on the, on, on the track, James Stewart would be, man, it wouldn't be just one Bubba Stewart. It wouldn't be one just Malcolm Stewart. It would be so many of us, but how many kids are fortunate enough to have a parent that'll be able to travel the country and take them to ride their dirt bikes state to state? Just for regionals, for nationals, whatever. How? How many people? Not me. I can't afford to take, huh, sons? The, the, first of all, the gear alone, that's four or five hundred. The boots, another two, three hundred. Helmet, another three, four hundred. That's just the gear. Right? Chest protector, number 200. You know what I'm saying? Then the bike, what? We're going to say 250, number 8,000. You know what I'm saying? Trailer, toy hauler, number 30, 30K. Nice little pickup truck to drive it with, 15 to 2,400 Debbie with a good door max, number 50 to 60, 70,000. So we talking about 150,000 already just off the, the wham, just to ride dirt bikes on track. Now, how am I going to get that 150,000? Because now I got to skip work. You gotta worry about your son's skill level when he on that bike too. I gotta get a skill level up. I gotta pay attention to him, get him nice, not work. Come on, man. It's not that easy, bro. And, and don't get it. This generation, we might not make it there, but next generation, you know what I mean? King, King Sons or Seven Sons, they might get turned. They might get do it. All right, let's see somebody else. Two more comments and we're done with the comments because y'all niggas is going crazy. Uh, Deadhead4206 says, when did riding four-wheelers on the public streets become legal? You're right, they never was legal, bro. But just like I said in the beginning of, this, beginning of the video, where I come from, I can't speak for the whole bike life. I'm speaking just for Baltimore City. Just for Baltimore City. Where else do we have to ride, brother? Come to Baltimore and drive around. Where else do we have to ride these bikes? So you telling me we shouldn't we shouldn't be able to have our bikes because we don't have nowhere to ride? So just because we created the place to ride, I don't even like I understand it's illegal, bro. We all do. Believe me. Scroll down to this video right here. Look at this video right here. This video right here will tell you that I know this shit is illegal. I just went to court and beat it. You know I beat all charges. Thank God for that. Shout out to my lawyer. But come on, man. Y'all are just killing me in the comments, bro. One more person. Laney said, it's the maintenance. You ain't there yet. What's that girl's IG? Yeah, yo, because she definitely schooled. She schooled Marse. Marse thought he was going to school her. Shit. She, Marse popped out on a four-stroke. Mind you, Shorty was on a Banshee in that video. <laughs> and Marse going to drive down and talk to Banshee. Like, bro, we everybody knows riding the Banshee for 10 hours every week is a lot of work on that bike. And it, it provides a lot of maintenance. A lot of maintenance. But, uh... At the end of the day, man, like I said, appreciate everybody for tuning in in the last video. 
we will be dropping more family vlogs in the future. I'm trying to, you know, incorporate my family into my vlogs. Like I said, I do. I, I, I haven't said. I like. I always say, like I said so much. Pardon me. I'm trying to stop saying it, but I do YouTube for them. You know what I mean? I do YouTube for my friends and family who I don't may see, and they can live life through my vin, my lens, my camera lens. I don't do really YouTube for the views. I appreciate the views, and I definitely appreciate the support. But, you know, in the main sense, I, I do it because I like it. You know, I love it. I love editing. I love, uh, you know, looking back at, 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 at the videos after a while and, and seeing, you know, the, the, our faces and our expressions and how happy we was in the moment. You know what I mean? This video right here, the video of sitting down with my son in the middle of the park recording a video. Like, you know what I mean? That's dope. Huh? Come here, Dream. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing? All right, so time to play with the kids. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you for uh, thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. Next video will be out. Uh, we gonna put another video. I'm gonna put another video. Uh, I'm gonna try to do every three days, y'all. Don't quote me on that, but every three days we're gonna try to drop some shit for y'all. Cause you know I don't. I, I just want to flood y'all. I have so much content backed up. No ditty. I just need to, you know, release it to the public and release it to you guys to see so y'all can continue. Hold on, boo. So y'all can continue living life through my camera lens. You dig what I'm saying? Seven, you want to say something to these people? No, not really. Burn rubber, not your soul. <laughs> Boom! <laughs>